Today is our Universal Studios day. So a little bit different than just the Disney vlogs this trip. Um, we're just waiting for our Uber and then we're gonna head over. We're really hoping that we can get a Hagrid's virtual queue. Um, I guess it's a little bit different than like Rise where it's a couple times throughout the day. Um, so we'll see. It's the one new ride over there that we definitely wanna ride. Um, other than that, we're just kind of excited to do like some actual roller coasters and stuff. And then tonight we'll be at Cowfish for dinner. We've heard really good things about it. Um, our travel agent, Jenna, said it was amazing. So we're very excited to try it out. Um, so yeah, just waiting for the Uber. Um, and then we'll be on our way. Hello. Um, sorry we haven't checked in much. It's really hard with Universal. There's a lot of people around. Uh, you have to have your bag and lockers and all of that good stuff. We're actually, we started in Islands of Adventure hoping to get a virtual queue. The virtual queue is not up and running right now for Hagrid. So we're actually going to head over to Universal from the Universal Studio side because the lines are a lot shorter. Because everybody's in Islands first because they thought they had to get the virtual queue. Um, so we're actually gonna head over and do it the reverse like we did last year and then maybe pop up over it later. Um, so we're just gonna walk over um, and kind of see what we can get on over there. Escape from Gringotts right now looks like it's only like a half an hour. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time we get over there, because we're on the total opposite side of the entire area, um, we'll be able to. But yeah, this will probably be a really weird pop-in random um, vlog today, but unfortunately with my camera and backpack having to be in lockers for most of the day. It is what it is. So we will check back with you when we get down to the other side. All right, just do another check in. Hopefully the music behind me isn't too loud. I'm trying to talk over it. Jake is riding Rip Roaring Rocket. Uh, I don't like the ride. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable on it when we went on it the first time last year. So I'm skipping it. Um, he loves it though, so he'll go and do it. I'm just kind of sitting in the shade. We're almost done with the Universal Studios side um, and then we will head on over and finish Island. We still have to do like Harry Potter over there and Kong and all of that um, before we go and get cowfish for dinner. So it's getting very warm. Um, I think this is, I'm assuming this is normal Florida um, this time of year, but this is, it's getting toasty. Um, and it's supposed to hit 90 the next couple of days. So that fun but yeah we're just having a good time it's definitely a little bit feels more crowded here than it did in disney um with the exception of like when we first went to galaxy's edge uh, i don't know if it's definitely more local heavy and that's why but it's definitely more crowded it's harder to kind of keep your distance from people here um so if you're kind of thinking about coming kind of keep that in mind for the near future um but otherwise the rides are great um we really like it here so we will check back in next time all right we have finally made it into the queue for Hagrid's it's like 3 30 we finally made it back to Islands of Adventure um but this is definitely something that we were not leaving the park without doing so we're in hot speed yeah take you back to Diagon Alley if you want so yes we're very excited to finally go on high grades. I've only heard amazing things about it, so we are pumped. All right, babes, what do you think of high grades? Oh, sweet. It was amazing. Yeah, no, it was real cool. If it wasn't like a huge weight, I would want to ride it again. But we're just exhausted. I don't know what this, what it is about this park. All but... Harry Potter rides are awesome. Oh, but there's three. Third one. Bring that. Yeah. Yeah, these two are better. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just chilling and relaxing. Uh, it's really hot today and in, in, in Universal there's like not as much shade kind of places so it definitely wears us out a little bit. So we're kind of sitting, relaxing, gonna go have an early dinner and call it a night because... My legs are shot. <laughs> we're beat. I'm afraid when I take my shoes off my feet are just gonna expand. Yeah, I hope our room's big enough for both of our feet. <laughs> so, we will check back in once we have dinner. We're going to Cowfish. Um, so we should have some good sushi. We're just kind of sitting here right now watching Velasa Coaster. I wish it was gonna open, it looks so good. So 
of there is like you can see a little bit of Velocicoaster. They're just testing it out. June 10th. I know. We're missing it by like literally. 40 days. Yeah, pretty much. So we'll check back in at Cowfish. St. Germain because I was kind of jealous. Everything else from the muddled blueberries and raspberry was a blur. <laughs> and then I am drinking it's there we go. Uh, vodka with mint, basil, cucumber, lime. It's basically me in a cocktail. So we're gonna sit here. We're at Cowfish. Waiting for our sushi. <laughs> Alright, so we just got a big plate of sashimi. I don't even remember what's on it, but there's a lot of stuff on here. We're very excited here at Cowfish. Alright, so what was the one thing we learned from this plate of food? I don't like that. No. We learned that it was very fishy. Oh, it literally tastes like the ocean. The fishiest. We love sushi, we love sashimi, but I'm good with mackerel again. So now we just have a couple of rolls coming um, that we know we're probably gonna like. They're exactly what we get at home, so we are very excited. So before I forget, and before we destroy it all, these are our rolls. One is a firecracker roll. I think that's this one. Yep, definitely. And this is a tropical something. Don't remember what's in them. I just know that they're amazing. And then Jake got a peanut butter and jelly old fashioned made with um, the screwball peanut butter whiskey. So that should be interesting. So we're gonna kick back and enjoy and we'll see you when we have to be rolled out of the park. All right, I just wanted to pop on and say a quick good night. I know today's vlog was probably kind of all over the place. Like I said, it's really hard to film in Universal. Um, I can't have the camera with me for most of the ride queues, so it's, but it was in a locker for most of the day. Um, but we did have a really, really great day at Universal. Very tiring because we do do both parks in one day because um, we only have one day when we're there. So it's a lot of just kind of getting off a ride, getting back on another one. Um, figuring out what rides we definitely need to do and all of that but we got all of the ones that we wanted to do done like we said earlier Hagrid's was amazing uh, Jake even said in line he was just like is this just one of those rides that everyone thinks is good because it's new no this ride was good because it's good um, it was awesome so we just got back to the room we're just going to settle in this is actually the earliest we've gotten in and we're going to take full advantage of it this um, like I said we're dead um, so we're probably you know it's Wednesday. We're gonna watch some Circle because that's the best show ever. Um, and I ended up ordering um, a charcuterie board from a furlough cast member who has not been asked back to work yet. Um, there's a group that I follow um, on Facebook. I'll have to link it down below. I just can't remember the name of the group off the top of my head right now. Um, but her shop is Magical Charcuterie. And I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. We said it was for my birthday, so she put a little happy birthday thing. There's chocolate covered pretzels, some cheese in the back there, some strawberries and grapes. I mean, this is beautiful. So we're gonna stick this in the fridge, kind of pick at it along the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just take it nice and chill tonight and then tomorrow it's my birthday. I'm 
so excited. It's literally the best day of the year, guys. Seriously. Um, it is my golden birthday, though. I am turning 29 on the 29th, so it is a very special day. Um, we're having, starting off with breakfast at the Garden Floridian Cafe, um, which is my favorite breakfast on property. And a week ago, they added the Lobster Benedict bag on the menu. <sighs> I and literally screamed. I'm pretty sure Jake was working. I called him. I called him like it was the most important news that I had because it was the lobster eggs Benedict is the reason that I go there. It's the reason I will always go to the Grand Floridian Cafe. Uh, and then we're spending the entire day at Epcot taking in all of uh, flower and garden, all the topiaries, all the food. It's just going to be an amazing day and it's going to be kind of relaxing because um, we're just going to kind of take our time around the world showcase, take our time with all the rides. Um, and really just enjoy our day. So we will see you bright and early in the morning. Thank you once again. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know when I post a new video. Thank you guys. Bye. You're the only thing I'm